Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first tutorial of how to make games in scratch. Today we are going to make a collect the apples game. Yeah. For this, at first we have to choose a sprite. At first, boot. Then apple. I will set apple size to 50. Yeah, it looks good. So, if you want, you can skip this step. I'm adding a backdrop. Blue sky 2. At first, we will go to the apple. We have to make the apple go from here to here and then again come here over here. So, we will take in when green flag clicked. Controls. The full controls forever then we will get the if then statement go to operations make the apple go over here at first yeah see this we will do it minus 175 so bring in this lesser than go to motion scroll down get my position over here and then write minus 175 then go to I will make this 180 see now now if this thing goes over here and below this it, it will just come over here right so we want it to go to random places so that the player doesn't know where it is gonna go next so we have to go to operations pick random I will do it 200 to minus 200. Now, so now we will make the apple go down. Take it when right click forever. Go to motion. Change y by. I think 5 will be good. And then add another 5 over here. Go to controls. Wait 0 seconds and put it over here and here see minus 5 it looks smoother hmm. we have to make it faster so and now yeah that looks good so we will take up this now go to operations bring in this or statement put it over here put this over here and then we have to go to sensing touching bow so that if the apple touches the bowl it will go up again see like now it's going up so now let's code the bowl events when green flag click motion go to y will be the same 136 minus 136 and then go to sensing so bring in mouse x and now see what happens see this the mouse will go here and there will nothing the next step so now we have coded the bowl now we will go to apple this is done right but now well, there's no fun to play without points right go to variables we don't need, need this my variable delete it make a variable don't make it cloud variable make it for all sprites so name the variable points okay yeah. double click it so that it becomes like this now we will duplicate this take out the or statement place bowl over here and then change points by one see if we are not doing this over here because if the apple just goes down also it will increase the points but now it will only increase the point if it is happening see no points points see sometimes when you touch the apple it uh, is not counting anything so what we have to do is wait zero seconds then go to this position so that it can give you points and then bring over zero seconds over here like sometimes it will give you two points see see two points 
So if you put this below this, not over this, so that it changes points by one, and this apple gets the time to go up, and it doesn't give you more points. See? Now we have to set this to zero when we back click, right? So go to variables, set points to zero. Here. Right? It looks cool, right? So events when. I will get this and place it over here. So now it will go up every time I click the flag. Now I will duplicate this and make it variables. Now there we are. See? Right. So that's all for today. See you tomorrow. We will upgrade this game.